The COVID pandemic has brought about many interesting changes. One of them is happening off the coast of Oregon, where fishermen are becoming surgeons of sorts. That's right, they're performing a very important surgery on tuna fish, and it's all in the name of science. Keely Chalmers takes us out on the fishing turned research boat. I've fished for everything. I've done every fishery there is just about. Captain and Vern Hartman knows a thing or two about fishing. He's been doing it off the coast of Oregon for his entire adult life. Normally I'm a crabber and a tuna fisherman. That's what I do. But these past few months, his fishing boat, Peso 2, took on a new role, that of a research vessel. I've actually wanted to be a marine biologist my whole life. Instead of just catching albacore tuna, Hartman and his crew tagged them not a simple process. They had to actually surgically implant the antennas into the fish, a task the captain turned fish surgeon was ready for. When I saw the opportunity, I was actually really into it and I kind of threw myself at it. I was like, I'll do it, I'll do it, you know, kind of pick me. You see, when COVID hit, scientists had to restrict their field studies, so they turned to fishermen to do this critical work. Hartman went through a training course and then set out to collect the data by catching, tagging, and then releasing tuna. Basically, we try to catch fish, but this time we were releasing them with tags in them. Those tags track where the tuna travel, when and where they eat, and gather all sorts of important information. We weren't able to get out to sea, but we had these tags that were have been waiting to get out for a number of years, so we were really anxious to get them out in, in fish on the water. Heidi I'm Dewar so is a research know. biologist with NOAA Fisheries. In normal years, she's the one tagging fish, and she says those tags are revealing some pretty interesting patterns. They are going quite a ways out there. Like, I don't think we really expected that they would go almost all the way to Japan and then come back in between seasons. This animation shows just how far the tuna migrate and the route they take. Information that is critical to understand as our climate and our oceans change and the future becomes less predictable. But thanks to these tags and these fishermen turned taggers, researchers are now getting a much clearer understanding of our ocean so we can all better prepare for what's to come. If we can get a sense for why those feeding patterns change over time, we can better predict those changes and then give that information to the fishermen so they know what to predict from one year to the next. I'm glad that they chose me and it was awesome. It was awesome. I'm happy. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.